back. Jess Gorlicki, favorite artist extraordinaire. How are you, madame? Feeling good, thanks, guys. Feeling good. <laughs> Feeling good. <laughs> Setting up all my paintbrushes. You're doing your thing. You know what I'm about Jess? So, Jess was wearing She's always in a great mood. Yeah, and it was banging against her mic. So, I went to go help her take yeah. off the necklace. And I noticed that Jess is covered in paint right now. Like, you have paint really? and, Well, she has paint on her jacket, paint on her shoes. She's just, she's an artist that, there you go, look at those shoes. Oh, no way, you painted your shoes. <laughs> you know, I did a Tom's event with Lululemon a few weeks ago, and I was the only one without painted shoes. I had to do it. Yeah. Was that the whole... And I actually wore them especially for you guys, because I thought that you'd get a kick out of them. That's so. really cool. Okay, so today, what are you talking about? You actually have a, an art sale coming up soon. I have a huge show coming up on October 13th. Okay. Called Bamboozled. <laughs> and my part portion of the show is called Paint My Candy. It's really probably the coolest thing I've ever been a part of in my life. It's a hundred thousand square foot space. So it's wow. beyond anything I've ever been associated with or far exceeding my expectations of what a show You've done be. some really cool things. Yeah. I mean, that's bamboozled. That's mm -hmm. cool. You also toured during the Olympics and you totally. were doing that traveling Totally. Painting show. What was that? And I'm work and I'm working for Cirque du Soleil at the moment. I'm doing 77 shows live for Totem down at the Portlands while the show is still on in Toronto until Sunday, October 9th. Look at you. So I'm a little bit busy right Holy. now. And, um, and she's on daytime. Say, you know what? I like daytime. Did she made time for daytime. It's, I can't it's believe it. It's because of daytime that all these oh, things yeah, happen. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know it. Yes. We're so pivotal. Thanks, in your career. team. Yeah. <laughs> No words. Okay, we'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, that's what really lost her career. career <laughs> but but we've been having Jess on for a few years, and it's exciting to see all of these developments. Every time oh, she comes in, literally, there's something new and fantastic she's working on. My favorite artist, uh, her stuff always grabs my attention, and yeah. I think I'm going to let her paint a pair of my shoes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Jessica yeah. Gorlicky is here. She is our favorite artist. Her stuff is just out of this world. She has a gallery here in your region. <laughs> Pop that call. And you're always so much fun. You're just... You guys bring it out. Amazing. You bring it out. I'm so excited. Okay, so you wanted to take a picture for something. Yeah. Okay. So what is it? Let's just start right off with that. Okay, this is something that my friend Bernita introduced. After I had started uh, promoting the event yeah. and hiring yeah. all these people, she gave me her time and sponsorship to come and photograph the show and okay. yeah. do all this stuff. And so she went out with these random people and all around the club and the bar and the mall and people just, just started pictures. holding these si this sign and it was like their mugshot. Paint so my I candy. told her that I'd come on and I would do this. Her name okay. is Brigitte What K. did you do? Brigitte She's a great Kay. photographer. You... Go for it, guys. Okay. You rock. There we go. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank there you, you go, so Brigitte. much. Thank you, right. Just for you. You're welcome. Okay. So, so we get <laughs> that is bamboozled. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go. Right? If we're going to do some bamboozling. Some bamboozling. So, sure. this company is called Seven Continents. Yeah. It's on Thursday, October the 13th. Okay. Which is next Thursday. I'm freaking out. <laughs> it's the coolest event, though, because we have 100,000 square foot space. I get 10,000 square foot. Wow. And there's, um, they paint, there's painted mannequins and crazy huge canvases and, and so butterflies they just say, from the ceiling that are painted. It's This company is a fixture company, one of the largest in North oh. America, and so they make mannequins and fixtures of all sorts, and I will be painting those fixtures and mannequins. It's they will be there. a permanent part of that place, right? Like, it's going to be an, an event that goes on, and the warehouse space will sort of stay open for two months by appointment only. It's an RSVP only event. Okay. So if you guys would like yes. to come, as well as anyone else watching, you are more than welcome to. Just please RSVP with me via jessica at jessico.com. I love that. I love that. That easy. Uh, we have some of your work here. Yeah. Now, we're taking a step back because all the stuff right now is at Bamboozle. So we're totally. looking at early Jesco work. Today. Yeah, this is this is a few months ago before Candy and Masky, you know, like pure Jesco for the show. All the stuff is already there on exhibit and it's already being featured and it's placed. So these two paintings here that we're looking at, you can see them right there. Are they in correlation with each other? Absolutely. They were yeah, all they painted look. around the same time. Oh. And this was during the winter months. This was a little bit of a darker uh, session that I experienced or experimented with, which yeah. is what I always do. Painting is always uh, an amazing thing because each piece turns out completely different from every other piece because it's all an experiment. And yeah, depending you never know what you're going to turn out. Yeah, right, exactly. Feeling. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a definitely an expressive. I love this one. It's very simple. I mean, it's not. It doesn't have a face on women's face on it, like yeah, it's, all it's, of your work. But I think it's more inspired by architecture, design, simplicity. Very linear. Lineal, and I just I think it's a burst of color. I'm definitely gonna I, have this in the show. This is so cool. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it only took a few weeks. Was this different for you? Because you you're usually and for this, this you is do very. Structured. Did you use a ruler? I use tape. 
Tape. It's my secret. Oh, yeah. Tape. Yeah, yeah. Tape. The secret's out. Okay. We have three minutes. This is another beautiful face. You this were gonna start work on this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and you can never stop painting. It's like, when yeah. is the painting finished? Everyone asks me that at Cirque du Soleil. I'm painting there every single night on this awesome light board, and people ask me every single day, how do you, how know? Do you know when it's finished? Well, sometimes my time runs out when I'm live yeah. performing, and I don't have a choice, or I will have an image of something that I'd like to paint in my mind and hopefully it gets done on time. Yeah. But when I'm working on a piece, I sort of, I think it's something that you just feel. Yeah. I don't think it's something that... Right. You can even describe. Well, um, I would agree because when I look at that, I would think, "Oh, it's complete." But yeah, then, absolutely. for you as an artist, I want to keep going until I you sort of see exactly. You see it differently. It's amazing. You are a local artist. Definitely. You know the struggles when yeah. it comes to local artistry. Totally. How do we support more local artists and get their name out there? I tell people all the time: if you talk about your product and you believe in what you do, and you have a little bit of confidence, and you want to share that with people, and you're passionate about it, it's going to shine through. One out of ten people are gonna like what you do, and you just have to keep going. Yeah. Even if you feel like there's no way for you to possibly succeed in something that is so abstract, it's always possible, and you have to keep telling yourself that. And no matter who's around you saying you can't or maybe you should go here or there, you have to follow your heart and what you love. And yeah. If you do that, I think you will genuinely find happiness. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's a great message. And you know what? You're so passionate about it, and it shines through yeah, in your work. Well, I'm never going to stop. You can that's never be it. an accountant, right? It just wouldn't work out. You have to express no. yourself. Exactly. Death. Death. This is Death. This is what you're and supposed to be doing. doing. <laughs> For accounting. There you go. If you fail math, maybe you're more you artistic. You know you're not going to be an accountant. <laughs> exactly. you, so, uh, oh, go ahead, Jess. What were you going to say? I was going to say, Jess, you have oh, other yes? works available. Uh, well, we can talk about that. But on your website, um, you have tons and tons of different artwork. Definitely. And sort of encourage people to come down and take a look. Because you have you. sort of a little private studio. Where you yeah. Come and you're more than welcome to always to come by and take a look. Um, at, with appointments, of yeah. course. Yeah. Take appointments. Right now, it's not a very good time. But after October... 13th, I'm much more available. Uh, yeah. Do you yeah. ever do commissions where somebody says, hey, will you draw will that's you actually paint my really, face? Yeah, that's a really large part of what yeah. I do, and it's, I'd say it's a good 50% of how I get to survive as an artist. Sure. By taking on people's ideas and saying, okay, you want this in that size, in that color, over that couch, over there, sure, let's let's make it happen. Or if I sell a piece and I only make one of each, that's kind of my thing. Yeah. I don't reproduce anything. I say, okay. We can make you a version of this in your own colors, in your own skin. Right. You know, it's try like to replicate the, uh, something similar, but yeah. I won't do anything that's exactly the same. Good. Oh, uh, very good. So everything's new, fresh, and original. Yeah. So Absolutely. if people are looking for more info, jessgo.com. The huge event is on October 13th, and all you have to do is RSVP. To we have 750 Jessica. confirmed guests at wow. this point. Wow. So, I mean, it's we have a lot of space. And we can accommodate a lot yeah. of people, so we're definitely still having our doors open. I think the last day we take our SVPs is October 7th. You'll have to tune people out as you're doing your artwork, Seriously. right? You'll have totally. to. Yeah, there's going to be so much going, going on. on. Oh my god. Can't so wait. much going on. <laughs> Good. <laughs> there you go, guys. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, lots more on daytime. Stay where you are.